Hi, this is a quick intro in how vision setting, more specifically bottom vision setting, should be handled in Open BNB in the future. Note this functionality has been mostly developed by Karlinek. He has done all the core work and uh, that's cool, uh, cool stuff. So uh, don't forget, he did it. I only added some finishing touches to the GUI, which I'd like to present now. So everybody is knowing what I'm talking about because we need to discuss some issues about it. Open PNP now has this new vision tab with all the bottom vision settings centralized. After you start that version for the first time, it will automatically migrate your existing part settings into this system. In doing so, it will unify all the same settings into one. So if your pipelines on the parts are equally exactly the same and all the settings are exactly the same, then it will be fused into one setting. And hopefully after migration, you will only have a handful of these settings so you can manage them more easily. These settings are then assigned on different levels. So like before they can be assigned on the part level so you have all the settings like this on the parts level as before but you should be aware that these settings can now also be inherited from the package level they can be assigned and managed on the package level so all the parts of the same package would have the same bottom vision setting and uh, as obvious the setting is then available on this level it can even be done on the global level in the machine setup here in bottom vision you have also the same choice as the default setting that default setting is then used unless you assign a setting on the package or part so this is an inheritance system that goes through these levels knowing that uh, if you select a part, for instance, you see where that setting here is assigned to. So you should be aware that if you change this, this will affect all these parts that are listed here or packages that are listed here. So if you don't want that, if you only want to specialize one specific part, you can press this button and it will make a special setting for just this button. Now you can change things and it will only affect this part. The same obviously is possible on the package level. You can specialize for one specific package. There is kind of the opposite um, uh, also possible. You can select this package here and say, let me generalize these settings. I like these settings and I want them for all the parts of, the, of this package. So I can press the generalize button and it will tell you what parts currently have a specific specialization and you can override it. So you can must now say yes and then these will be deleted and removed and overridden by this centralized package setting. Because these things are now so interlinked, there's a new setting on the GUI you can make the selection in tables linked. So you can enable this new option here. And for instance, if you have a job loaded and you select a specific part here, then this part will automatically be selected in the parts tab. And the package of that part will be automatically selected in the packages tab. Likewise, the vision for that will be selected here. And likewise, the feeder for that part will be selected. This also goes the other way. If you select the feeder here, you have the part automatically selected and its package and vision. And obviously you can start in the middle. You can select a package here and get the vision for that package, etc. So this is how this works now. And hopefully you see that using this centralized system with only a few manageable settings is now much more powerful and you can manage them on the package level or like before on the part level as you like or you can make exceptions from the rule on every level. So that's it for this quick intro. I hope this is understandable.